Hello. Um, this is really just a, a trip out um, to scout this little location that you can see before you. Um, I think it's Port Turton, um, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put that, the name up if it's correct. As we go, I think it's Point Turton. Not 100% sure. A um, bit of a rush. We've got a visitor, as you can see, at the end. At the end here, a beautiful pelican, uh, which I'm afraid I may disturb. Oh, so. How do I want this? Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to be beaten by the sun. Um, the sun's actually hidden away behind a cloud on my left, um, but it's threatening to come out at any moment now. So I'm just going to quickly try and get a shot off. <clears throat> Let's just see how we do. So let's just see what we can manage today. Oh, and he's gone. He's decided I've disturbed him enough. Um, so I was hoping for a higher tide, um, but as scouting missions go, this isn't too bad. It's a beautiful little spot. I think you'll agree. So let's just try and see what we can get here. Okay, it's given us about a twentieth of a second. Ten stop gives us about a minute-ish. So let's quickly get onto that and throw a minute on. So let's make sure that I've got the right. Is the tent and a 1.2 soft grad because I know that there is a, a blue horizon over there. I can decide whether I want the reverse grad on or not later on. Um, so just that polarizer. I'll take two if I get an opportunity, so straight away let's put that onto manual. And we were saying one minute. I actually think we can go a touch further than that. Let's go two minutes, bang. Um, one of these things is uh, when you doing a long exposure um, such as this, and uh, there isn't much wind and the majority of the clouds that you can see are way off in the distance then they really do need to be moving uh, at quite a pace a lot closer to you uh, generally to get that degree of movement um, i think even with two minutes we'll get a slight smearing of those of those uh, clouds but nothing too um, spectacular um, nothing too dramatic uh, but we'll see but this is a, a gorgeous place. As you can see here, uh, the sun's behind this bank of cloud just above us. The sun's going to set on this side. Um, the tide is on its way in, so hopefully it will uh, come in and cover um, this little um, concrete jetty. I was really um, very um, quite smug and made up with myself when I found this on Google Maps. I was... Uh, I was looking for um, rocks and uh, I, I noticed these on Google Maps and then 
checked out some of the images that were from this place just to see what these rocks were like which i think are gorgeous by the way um, i love the way they're pitted the green little pools on both sides so no doubt i'm going to photograph those as well uh, today the second thing i was looking for was any groins or any um, um steps leading into the water but what i didn't expect was this old thing and i'm uh, really pleased i did So this is almost done. So it was a very quick setup as you saw. And that gives us, it's pro it could probably go a touch further. It could probably go a touch further, but that's, uh, that's lovely as a as a test shot um, as it is I could probably I'm gonna to go to f 18 and I'm gonna put it up to four minutes how crazy is that so let's just adjust this slightly recheck those I'm going to use the polarizer so that it's off I really do want the glare I like the glare on the water because it gives you a much higher contrast to this dark section in the middle to the um, walkway rather than a jetty it gives you a much starker um, contrast the bright glary water and then this dark walkway full of this fabulous green moss get up here and see be very careful on this green let's see what we can do with this I'm just gonna pull back a touch uh, 20 of a second uh, with a 10 stop um, gives us around about 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 three minutes ish um, I've pushed it up to four minutes and um, set the aperture at f18 that seems to give me a well balanced image i think i might lose this one because that sun is about to drop and when it does it will completely change um, the amount of light that's in the scene um, so what i might do is instead of this is a, a four minute exposure what i might do is just only have it for another um, probably 50 seconds once that sun appears and then I'll stop that I'll stop that exposure uh, because otherwise it'll be too blown out so I'll do that by basically by feel and by eye so there's a minute and 30 left but here it comes you can you can actually see that you can see the sun's slowly creeping below that cloud and when it does uh, I think we're gonna have to pause our photography just for a little while until it drops a little lower and becomes a bit softer um, across this scene but still yeah there's a minute to go we may we may just just do it i just don't want the the highlights to be uh without any sort of uh, detail at all um, I've set the polarizer here to actually increase the glare. I want it's the polarizer switched off, in fact, because I'm happy uh, with the glare. Um, because I'm happy with the glare uh, because it gives a, a beautiful 
um, contrast uh, between the dark of this uh, walkway and and the reflection of the sky and clouds so uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with that if I had another opportunity which I don't think I will do because of that sun I'd, I'd uh, use the polarizer to the full so I could see through the water and then I could blend it later on and pick and choose which I liked or actually layer them and then adjust the opacity to um, to to change to taste um, to see what I'd really like. You know what we've done well. I think that cloud's moving along with us. Uh, this one has has ha has has cooked four minutes f18. I looked at the sun and now my eyes have gone. I can't see a thing. Let's have a look through here. Yep, well exposed, no blinkies. That's not bad at all, I quite like that. Can you see? Just look at this water. How beautiful is this? Beautiful spot. I think this is a local swimming hole. Uh, swimming hole. Um, I can't imagine uh, any other reason for this walkway and the little uh, steps going out into the water, um, other than for uh, a swimming club of something of some sort. It's, uh, it's wonderful. If you have a little look though, on this side, the water's about one or two foot um, at, at its deepest up here. But on this side, it uh, probably goes down to about six, seven foot here. It really does drop significantly on this side. Um, so this must be where the current is taking uh, sand away from this, from this side of the, uh, of the walkway. I'm gonna do exactly the same shot so I'm going to go up to F22 and see if we can get a lot of movement in that sky, which would give us a crazy um, 22 minutes, uh, 15 minutes, sorry, F22, 15 minutes. So there you go, 15 minute, 15 minute exposure. Bright sun, <laughs> blue sky. take this uh, central column out. You may notice I may need to give this a proper clean. That white residue in there is salt, I think. Yes, that's salt. So I do um, religiously clean my tripod and it's in great working order or so, or so I thought. Um, everything just moves smoothly on it um, but as you've just seen then is that there are spots where uh, you have to be meticulous in cleaning it uh, because I've just spotted some salt that had gathered in and around the joints um, so it's a note to myself to do an extra special clean when I get home. I, every time I go out on a shoot and I'm at the seaside which is nearly every time I go out on a shoot is uh, that's when I take it home and I either um, soak it in the bath for an hour or so or I take it in the backyard 
and I give it a, a real hosing down. I don't need to come back a touch. I just need to focus just here. I quite like that. And this is handy, this little spy. Mm. Yeah. Right. We've got a good 15 minutes with that sun high, so I am actually going to go back. I'm going to go back up to F22 and I'm going to pump this back up to 15 minutes. I just want to check the histogram and it's saying that's fine. Let's, uh, we've done one before. Let's, uh, let's do another one. So yes, again, if this works out, 15 minutes, um, which is a crazy long time, especially seeing as we've got hardly any cloud, but that cloud is not moving hardly at all. So 15 minutes is giving me very slight um, softening and streaking. So that I'm pleased with. Uh, the water, of course, will be super flat. So we're almost out of light, but the light is absolutely beautiful. I think you can see there, absolutely glorious. So let me just... Just moving to capture that light, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful colour at the moment. Just look at it. I think we've been blessed. I think we've been blessed. So. Didn't expect this. I didn't expect it to be as nice as this. Um, oh, and look at this. Look at this down here. Hope you can see it. There's a ray He's come to say hello. Look at him, aren't we lucky? What a beautiful little thing. Wow. Thank you very much. I think this is the last shot of the day. Um, two, minute, two minute exposure, um, capturing what I hope is the last of the reds and the blues and the lilacs of that cloud as the sun, which has dropped now down behind the, the horizon. So fingers crossed we've caught that. Um, I'm hoping we have so um, thank you for joining me if you like this then give it a like if you want to see more subscribe um, you must have heard it a million times from me and, and others but uh, it really does help so thank you very much um, if you're returning and welcome if you're brand new so okay um, wherever you are please stay safe take care see ya